by far the world's biggest battery company, CATL, which probably has the best battery technology of any company on the planet. It's true. Well, we know they have an incredible amount of excess battery supply. Now, companies like Toyota, Honda, many others have said the reason that they don't make EVs, and they don't, I mean, 0.3% of your global sales means you don't make EVs or pretty well don't. The reason they say is there's not enough batteries. There's not enough batteries to go around. Battery supply is not high enough. There's many companies will give you this excuse over and over and over. They'll say, oh, our sales in the last few months, there's just not enough batteries. We can't get enough. Well, that is a complete load of horseshit. Here are the facts that prove there is more than enough batteries for all of these legacy automakers to jump on EVs, make more EVs, and stop telling us lies. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. And yes, the world is moving to electric cars. This is a Kodak. You know, they did have digital cameras. They suppressed digital camera technology. That's pretty well what Toyota has been trying to do. Suppress EVs. Been lobbying against the US government, lobbying against the Japanese government, various governments around the world to slow down EV sales. There's not enough batteries. There's not enough, I tell you. If we all sold EVs, well, it'd be a disaster. Well, we couldn't. It's impossible. We can't get the batteries. Well, guess what? The world's biggest battery company in the world, it makes a ton of batteries. It has it has around 50% market share worldwide, right? And it is firing its employees, even though it's growing. It's definitely growing. Its sales are growing. Its profits are growing. Its profits are billions upon billions of dollars. Their profits have just surged over the past few years to the point where no one expected the kind of money that CATL are making. Of course, Tesla's biggest battery supplier is CATL, and CATL are firing employees. Now, why would they be firing employees? You know what else they're doing? They're pausing production at many of their factories. Why are they pausing production if there's not enough batteries to go around? I mean, guess what? They're only basically hitting 60% of their capacity. CATL can turn up the week at almost any moment and produce nearly twice as many batteries if the orders were there. If the orders were there, they could make all the batteries probably that Toyota would need for at least the next year or two. They have the capacity to do this. Now, keep in mind, this company, CHL, they're not just supplying Tesla. They're supplying many different automakers. They're Tesla's biggest supplier, all right? They make the batteries for around 50 to 60% of Tesla's vehicles. We don't know the exact numbers, but that's the approximate figure. I mean, that's probably enough for a million cars per year. Now, they supply, like I said, numerous other automakers. They supply energy storage. That's not just, that's massive. Some of these energy storage projects are absolutely astronomically huge. Now, they supply companies like Bunnings, um, Walmart, with their battery cells that are going into their drills and their all their power tools, their electric lawnmowers, electric chainsaws. I mean, their battery supply is astronomical. And yet, they have massive excess overcapacity. So 60% they're at right now. They can turn it up to 100% if the demand was there. Now, the problem here is, well, not the problem, but the point here that I'm making is they're not the only ones in this situation. Basically, every battery company in China is in this situation. All of them are. They're all producing a lot of batteries, but all of them could turn up the wick and make a lot more. If the orders were there, there's a lot of battery companies in China. There's a lot of battery companies, in fact, around the world. The biggest ones are in China. Now, one of the biggest ones that's not in China is LG Chem or LG Energy Solutions. And that brings me to General Motors. General Motors say, we can't make enough EVs. We can't get the battery packs. Mary Barra, she said this how many times this year? How many times? Maybe about 15 or 20 publicly to the media. We can't get enough batteries. Now, as you know, General Motors EV sales are nowhere near what they said they would be, what they promised investors, what they promised the media they would be this year. Nowhere freaking near. And Mary Barrow's excuse is this. We can't make enough batteries because we no one wants to work for us in our battery factory making $16 an hour. We're only willing to pay them less than a McDonald's worker. That's the truth. I've made a video about that. 
That's it. That's what they're offering. $16 an hour. We can't make enough batteries. Therefore, we can't make enough EVs. Sorry, guys. Um, Bye-bye. But next year, we'll make a million or oh, two million. Yeah, that's what they say. Now, why is it that General Motors can't use battery packs from any number of automakers who have excess supply capacity this year? And they all do. We've seen the data from China. Why is it they can't do that? Oh, no, no, no. It's because we need our special Ultium batteries. Well, guess what? Pouch batteries are not that special. They're actually pretty damn simple. Tesla have 4680 battery cells. They use 2170s. They use batteries from CATL, lithium ion phosphate batteries. They use batteries from LG Chem. They use batteries from BYD, LFP batteries as well. They use all these different batteries. And somehow, one of the world's biggest automakers, General Motors, doesn't know how to use batteries from any other company except LG Energy Solutions. By the way, LG Energy Solutions have the faultiest batteries ever in terms of their reliability. Their reliability record is horrendous. That's GM's battery partner. Now, GM has decided within the last six months, it had a little spat, they had a little argument, had a little cry, and both had a bit of little tears, and there was a bit of yelling and shouting, apparently, I've heard, but I don't know if that's true with LG Chem and they had a little divorce and they're still going ahead with their battery factories, but they're gonna make their next factory to make cylindrical battery cells, 4680 cells, Tesla like 4680 cylindrical cells, and they're joining with another battery company to make those cells. Now my point here is, there is more than enough affordable batteries being made around the world, car manufacturers to sell EVs to you. But the reason they're choosing not to do so it's because of cost. It's because they're losing money on every EV they sell. They're trying to confuse you. The media is intentionally doing this. The media is smarter than this. They know better and tell you, oh, no, 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 we just can't produce enough EVs. There's not enough batteries. There's not enough. There's all these reasons for their EV production being nowhere near where it should have been in 2023. The media said Tesla would be swamped this year. They haven't been. It hasn't been the case at all. And the reason is they don't make a profit selling EVs. They make massive losses. Ford lost 32,000 US dollars per car that it damn well sold in the second quarter of this year. That's 32,000 US dollars. Ford at least have a relative level of transparency and honesty. All of the others only say things like this. We can't make a profit until 2030 or 2027. They don't tell you that actually they're losing thousands of dollars on every electric car they sell. What they do do is crow about their gains on internal combustion engine sales. Look at our margins, still engines. Look, we're beating Tesla, told you. <laughs> Look, we're beating them. Look, we're making so much money. Look at our margins, they're great. Oh, what are your margins on EVs? Oh, no, no, look, see, um, our margins as a company, and they distract you away from the reality here, which is this. The future of the automotive industry is the electric car. It is going to change, and it has to because governments around the world have put in place Euro 7 regulations, even that in and of itself. Almost no cars that Solantis sell, or the General Motors sell, or the Ford sell, or the Toyota sell, even meet Euro 7 regulations, which will come into place in 2026 or 2027, depending on when they end up working. So what are they going to do then? What are their profits going to be then on the sales of exactly nothing? Well, either they have to neuter their cars, put in massive filters, invest billions into selling a product that no one will want in a few years' time, or they have to sell EVs that they make a loss on. So here is the truth. The truth is all these legacy automakers are lying to you, telling you a story, a narrative that is false. Yes, that includes your beloved Kia Hyundai and their Ionic 5 and their Ionic 6 and their EV6 and their great cars. But the truth is these are still companies that are telling you a bullshit story saying that, oh, the only reason we can't produce more EV, more Cars, EVs for your market, Australia, your market, wherever you are, is because we can't get enough batteries. And that, my friends, is complete nonsense. Thank you for watching. And let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you, do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.